Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming FIFA World Cup qualifying fixture between Brazil and Uruguay. This fixture will be played in Manaus at the Arena de Amazonia in the 2014 FIFA World Cup. It was known as the Hot House in Manaus. Uh, that stadium does not feature on the virtual patch that I use, so I'm going to use a different stadium that featured prominently in that World Cup. Estadio Governador Magales Pinto, home of clubs Atletico Mineiro and Cruzeiro in the Brazilian Serie A in Mineiro. As the two sides take the pitch, let's take a look around our stand-in for Mineiro, a stand-in for the Hot House in Manaus before we pause for the National Anthem. Kickoff. Let's take a look at our starting lineups for the home side Brazil. A lineup in a 4 4 2. Gabriel Jesus, Roberto Firmino, the strike pair. Neymar, Everton, Ribeiro on the edges. Casimir and Fabinho, the double pivot in front of that strong back four of Alisson and Japan. For Uruguay, Cavani and Suarez. Not too many better strike pairs than that in international football. Torreira and Bentacur anchor the midfield. Gavin and Jimenez anchor the back line. And Slara in goal. Very strong through the middle for Uruguay. Let's look at our Merlin ball. We are underway in Brazil. In our Stadio Mineiro here is the stand-in for the Hot House in Manaus. Brazil, one of those sides that really rotates their whole matches around the country. I really, I really like the sides that do that. I mean, I understand, I understand certainly, particularly in the smaller countries, just play in their national stadium. For bigger countries, I think they should rotate a little bit. Of course, in a lot of countries, you're just playing at the venue you think is going to give you the best advantage. Like Mexico tend to play at the Estadio Azteca. Huge imposing stadium, very high altitude, provides a pretty distinct home advantage for a tree. Neymar's floated in to the box there. Somewhat the plan here to have, I think, particularly when I play as, as Brazil with, or against rather, Argentina and Uruguay, I'd say the teams that. Put a little more fear into me than some of the other ones. Con I play a little more defensive, have that double pivot. Because I think because Brazil is so strong. Next to actually Chile on occasion. Because Brazil is so strong, I think these creative players, Neymar in particular, of course got Firmino and Gabriel Jesus on top. They're going to be able to find a moment of magic and get a goal. And if I stay strong at the back, I got a back four, double pivot. Again, those fullbacks for Brazil are always going to push forward. It's 
so these fullbacks will also join in the attack. Something I tried out in my last one with Brazil against Colombia, which actually I think I drew that match. Maybe it didn't work out so well. I can't even remember now. It wasn't that long ago. <laughs> There's a shot. Muslera, the Galatasaray keeper, knocks it away. Gabriel Jesus, Roberto Firmino. Neymar's just hitting all sides of the pitch. He's playing at that left midfield role, and he's out way out, like on the right wing here. So he's certainly a player that's going to have more freedom than some of the other ones. Oh, dispossessed on that occasion as he tries to dance around two defenders. Nil-nil at the half. Alright, so for the possession stat, 60-40 to Brazil. They have a couple shots. We'll see if either side here are going to be able to break through and get a goal. in the box. And with Brazil, a reason I don't mind setting up pretty defensive, everyone presses forward. by the goal, a little more, you know, a slightly more attacking player for that outside midfield role. So Uruguay are going to have to find a goal in the remaining half hour plus stop. forward here and find that goal. Jesus wins it back in a dangerous area. Yeah, 
decided to take a little break there instead of making a run, but there he is. The corner, the rebound. <laughs> Body one for Neymar, and everyone's kind of like, what the heck are you doing? I was really just thinking about the, uh, it was really a defensive move, obviously. I felt, I was feeling a little nervous there, and uh, I have to track back a bit more, but as it turns out, I've admittedly made some very strange <laughs> decisions with Brazil here, and yet they seem to have paid off. So, when your squad's as good as Brazil, you don't always have to get everything right to get the result. I guess that's the takeaway there. Flamingo player. It's 2 0 to Selecao. Gabby Gold. Gabriel Jesus. That was actually lined up before the goal there. Because uh, they're in for insurance in the front. Gabriel Bogosa also plays for Flamingo. Gabby Gold is his nickname. He is, a, he is a crowd favorite in Brazil. They absolutely love him, and with good reason. As for this preview, it's 2-0 to the Celacau as they take down the Celeste. Brazil over Uruguay. Should I say Brasil over Uruguay? Let's take a look at our highlights. Marquinhos with the header there. In the 88th minute, Everton brought on for some defensive reassurance in what I thought was going to be a tight finish there. and Gets a goal, the insurance goal, to give me a little breathing room. So, all the moves that I <laughs> made work, not necessarily for the reasons I made them, but football's a strange game, right? From Brazil, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If there's a picture you'd like to see me play, you can leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to my channel for more. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.